can I introduce Nolan Wu and Leanne Wu? <laughs> All right, so curious for both of you, um, can you tell us a little bit about how you've been a part of the practice space and what you've done? Uh, well, I have done the podcast and I've done the Young Speakers. Okay, so you can pass it to your mom. And I've been mom to him while he was doing that. And um, I was also a participant in the Youth Boys Ad Advocates program um, for my own class because I'm a teacher. Nice. Yeah, so you get to see the full spectrum of all the things at the practice space. We're going to hear a little bit more about their adventures. Um, so just for Nolan, what do you enjoy about using your voice and doing public speaking? What do you enjoy about it? Uh, well, I can talk more uh, comfortably. Sometimes I can't shut my mouth about it. I, I, yes, uh, and sometimes I help some people uh, in debate, uh, and I also lead some debates. You wrote a poem, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, and I'm curious for Leanne, what does uh, public speaking look like in your classroom? Because you have a special classroom as well. So I'm a special ed teacher, and um, my friend teacher, my buddy teacher, Amy Garzon, said, hey, we should do this public speaking thing. And I'm like, great. All my kids are nonverbal. Um, let's do it. So, <laughs> so um, I have a great group of kids, and they use technology and computers to communicate and to express their needs and wants. So um, I went off on this adventure and learned a lot. And actually, we were able to get the students to use their physical voice a lot more, um, both for advocating, for interacting with peers, for getting those wants and needs known. But then we also were able to do some really cool stuff with storytelling using technology technologies and, and switches so that they would participate in different um, activities and events and then use photos and technology to kind of tell peers and friends and family about what they experienced. So they were still able to do the whole storytelling experience just in a different way. Just as a follow-up, Leanne, uh, you've told me, so I also work with Leanne as, as her educator coach, and you've told so many wonderful stories about students, and uh, I don't, you don't have to name her name or anything, but I'm curious, like, can you tell a little bit about one student? Um, so I had one student um, that really benefited a lot from it. Um, she was kind of almost afraid of her voice when it started out and we did a lot more things within the classroom structure of just encouraging her to actually vocalize and through these different exercises I can see a noticeable difference in how much she's actually projecting with her actual voice um, but she also really just enjoyed um, when we would use the storytelling things to, to uh, make those choices you know when you're a student that doesn't have a whole lot of control over a lot of things that happen from day-to-day -day events in your life this was something where she had control she got to pick the font she got to pick the color she got to pick the pictures and then she got to tell that story and you could just see the light on her face and how much she enjoyed it so Nolan, I hear from your mom that you've been helping other people with with their voice or at least like helping them speak a little bit more. Can you say more about that? Uh, well, there was this one time where my mom was arguing with my dad and she was losing by a big amount. So I had to give her a little t a little bit of a uh, few tips and she eventually won, I guess. <laughs> what? I think all of us want to know what tips were those? <laughs> It'll stay a secret forever. <laughs> yes, yeah. So what is, either of you can answer this, what is it like having two members of the same family be part of the practice space? <laughs> Um, I think just kind of for me it was neat to participate as an educator and to kind of have like that dual lens of mom and educator at the same time is like oh wait I'm doing this with my students but hey he's kind of learning that on zoom too so I can kind of see where you're coming from um, so yeah I think it was neat to just really be involved and know what was going on uh. 
Let me think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I have one last question, and maybe this might be one for you, Nolan. Uh, for everybody out here, some of them are in practice-based programs. Some of them have just been in the audience for a long time. What advice do you have about public speaking? You should plan what you're saying. I'm not planning it right now, so <laughs> I might sound a bit unprofessional. <laughs> no, we think you're doing a good job, Nolan. Let's give Nolan a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you to you both. <laughs> Yay.